Ladies and gentlemen, Apple Music up next. Yo, Daniel yeah. Caesar's always mellow vibes. If you uh, if you ever heard our interviews, he's performing live. He's a smooth guy, beautiful voice, plays the guitar, and he's our up next artist. Every month, Apple Music picks an artist that we feel like everybody needs to know, and Apple Music has picked Daniel Caesar. How's that feel? It's very good. <laughs> very good. I'm thankful, man. I'm just thankful. Are you scared about this project, Freudian, that's coming out August 25th? Are you fearful? I'm pretty confident in this one. I'm very confident. This is very... Um, this is the most transparent you've ever been on a project. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. On a project, yeah. It's like on every... a total project. I mean, you've been transparent on songs, but I mean, a total project. Mm -hmm. And I think the most clear, fully formed like concept, because I I believe like every every album should have a concept. You can't just throw songs together. And this one, I think we got our point across. A complete than... thought. Yeah. When did you start recording? Music, how old were you? First song I recorded, I think grade 10. So what is that? I don't even know how old you 15? 15, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. And people don't know that prior to that, I mean, you were raised in a church, a pretty strict religious church family, right? Yeah. Playing in the church, playing instruments in the church too, right? Yeah. But was it a big deal when you decided to record, you know, songs about love and songs about life? Was that a big deal for you or more of a big deal for your parents? <laughs> I mean, yeah, more for my parents. What was that conversation like? If you're not going to to sing songs glorifying God, anything that isn't doing that specifically is glorifying Satan. Wow. Which is something that I, I couldn't really understand, but I mean. Because you're like, love is God. Like, why? That God is, God is love. Like, yeah. Am I right or am I right? Yeah. God is love. So it's like, we've definitely come to an understanding and like, I'm, I'm glad all that happened because now it's like, I feel like we've both learned a lot from each other. Like mm. me and my, my parents, I think we've both all grown as a family. Now like, we can coexist and still disagree. Get you. How did that song come? I'm like a I'm like a romantic, you know? So like I was just in this relationship and I was like very caught up, very but like we were just kinda like struggling together. And so it was just like going through those thoughts, like wow, like I'm I'm actually very thank like I didn't think that I have someone so dope in my life, you know? Especially like self doubt and all that shit. I mean I I've, other people feel the same way. Yeah, Everyone goes through that sort of thing. That's dope. And it's good to find that person that you could be that person with. It, yeah. That's a blessing in itself. Vulnerability is like, it's the greatest thing and it's the reward is very high, but the price can also, you know, it's like. The danger is there, like that fear of like. Yeah. But that's why it's so awesome, you know. So who's We Find Love About? It's the same one. This whole album, like, I would like this get you, like, this whole album is like the arc like from the inception to the to the death of just the most intense relationship of my life. The ability or the opportunity even to be transparent, mm. to allow yourself to be a vessel, you've realized through your music and people coming to your shows and talking to you about your music that you're not alone. No. And you're doing the same service for someone who is hearing your music and your story and you being giving to them that now they're not alone. Yeah, man, you get people, I, I get messages all the time and stuff just, you know, you, you get me through my worst days or like mm. you really like I was going through some stuff and it was like this was the music I was listening to to get me through that. And it's an honor. Like I remember when I got kicked out of school, like the music that I was listening to to help me get through that, it like saved my life, you know. I'm trying to like live out, you know, like Hero's Journey feel like it's actually like it's like sacrifice to a point because it's like I'm I really am like I'm putting my I'm putting my business out there how do you feel um about the response so far and how was there ever a time where it was negative response and what was that pain like it's been very good it's just so it's encouraging you know it's like it's uh something like like bless you you put it out and then everyone's like clearly identifies with it and it's just refreshing because it's like ah, i'm not the only like fucked up person you know <laughs> i'm not the only one that goes through this shit and so you get it's easy to get down yourself sometimes like it feels good to to have it out there and then know that other people can identify with that don't let them know that it bothers you if it bothers you you just gotta like, keep a straight face keep it to yourself and then you win yeah because i mean most yes the stuff that you create is all so beautiful right like it's mm. You're the type of music you create, it's hard to hate on. 
seems like you are not only learning about yourself, but it's your relationships, how they relate to other relationships that kind of programmed who you are today. Yeah. And you're putting it all in one bundle. Literally that, yeah. Because that's, you find out who a person is based off how they treat other people, I think. Mm-hmm. The people in their life. And it's, you know, people are going to treat certain people in their life differently than they treat other people. And it's kind of, you need all the context to sort of like figure them out. And I mean, like humans are complex, you know, you can never really figure somebody out. Because I don't. I don't think anybody figures himself out. I think well, like, we're all evolving all the time. Too. Exactly. Yeah. Like something identity is like, I don't think identity is a real thing. Cause like, I'm not the same, the same guy I was like a year ago, two years ago. And does that mean I'm, I'm fake or does that mean that I'm evolving? When you hit the stage, w- <clears throat> what do people see? Like what's happening with you on stage? I'm like singing to myself. <laughs> really? Um, yeah. I think a lot of, I do all this to make myself like feel good myself feel better i'm like actually just singing to myself you know and is that how did that become a thing for you um is that because you dealt with like maybe your parents not being open to understanding what you were going through as a teenager or maybe your -hmm. friends you hung around at school how did you become this person that wanted to sing to himself when i first like learned that i could sing i was really little and and i would just run around my house I just had a lot of, I guess I used to have a lot of energy. I'd run around my house and I'd, I'd sing to myself. And my mom would overhear me. She'd be like, oh, you have such a sweet voice, you know, and, and all that. But I've just always, I always, because I, I think I'm, sometimes I feel like I'm not uh, like a good communicator, like talking like, like something like this. This is like a lot for me, you know, to sit and, and like try and talk about myself, discuss things. So it's, I do better when I can sit down, like, process what I'm thinking and write it out and then sing it and so then I get on stage and it's like kind of like this Freudian in this album it's it's you know it's it's Freud you know like I'm trying to analyze I'm like looking at myself trying to figure myself out you know I write what's in my head I write it down and I sing it and then I'm like oh shoot that's me you know mm-hmm. I kind of like oh that's I don't know and you find the connections between who you are today what happened with you in the past and how the yeah. you know, music is the soundtrack to that. Yeah, it's like looking in the mirror. Yeah. And you kind of just, you kind of got to get your download my brain onto paper and then I can read it back and figure it all out. Is there any artist you want to collaborate with that you, have, that you haven't had a chance to reach out to? Because I can imagine once this thing gets a little bit hotter, now that you're Apple Music, I'm next artist, and people really begin to discover what you're offering. Um, I feel like it's not going to be hard for you to collaborate with the people you want to connect with. But who are they? Just my friends. You know, I realized I was having a conversation with Pat, like Pat the manager, and he was he was warning me against. And that's I Chance the rapper's manager. Yeah, yeah, great, best guy, best guy. It was just as easy, especially being like in this industry. There's so many people that I look up to and, and admire, you know, and that if you ask me. You know, a couple of months ago, I, I might have been able to name names, but it's like, I've realized it's not about artists, it's about like making music with people that, that you're friends with. Mm-hmm. 